This is the intelligent knife, cutting through a piece of animal flesh. It heats tissue with an electrical current, that's why you see smoke, and cuts it with a minimum of blood loss. Surgeons have operated on our body time, but what's new is that the intelligent knife is connected to a machine analyzing the smoke coming off the tissue. This machine, spectrometer, can identify the presence of cancerous cells. What we're able to do with this device is sense cancer cells that we can't see or touch or feel. So if you look at a really common disease like breast cancer, the data shows that in women having breast conserving surgery, nearly 20% of them have cancer cells left behind. So we want to improve the oncological outcome and we also want to improve the cosmetic outcome of these operations by removing only the tissue that we really need. Like all the best ideas, it's very simple. It was seen as a useless waste product now tells us something very important. A key advantage of the intelligent knife is that it provides instant information. The surgeon can see straight away on this screen here whether there's any cancerous tissue. Whereas until now, tissue had to be sent off to a laboratory for testing. So, in theory, operations should become much quicker and safer. And this is the man who invented the intelligent knife and who says it's already proving extremely accurate in identifying cancer. I think uh, it has the potential of changing the general practice of uh, cancer surgery. It is uh, especially critical in case of uh, brain surgery where uh, removing a few cells more can cause uh, terrible brain damage, patient losing ability to speak uh, and so on. The intelligent knife has the potential to save lives. It could be a very useful weapon struggle in the against block. cancer. Barnaby Phillips.